there boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Babao Revival, two massive games, final games of the Champions League group stage, can we get through to the next round, we've got Kiev today, Kiev today, Kiev first, at home at the San Memes, and then we play Celtic away at Parkhead. We have played some games since we last met, disappointing episode last episode where it was two losses to Malaga, one to Malaga, one to Napoli, we came around to a 2-1 win against Coruña, but very lucky. Two goals in the final two minutes of uh, injury time, uh, getting us the win. We had Ike Monoyin sent off in the 83rd minute. And two very, very good goals from the boys. They're clawing that win back and it makes it a vital win as well going into the league stages. I'll let you know how the league looks in a sec. And then uh, Villarreal, good win at home. 2-0. Benito Franco with a brace. 8.8 .8 for him. Really good overall performance from everybody in that game. And this is how it goes. This is how the league stands. Point ahead of Barcelona. So if they lost that game against Coruña, we'd have probably been second going into uh, going into the, this game so far. Uh, Malaga are six points behind us. Madrid are seven points behind us, and Atleti are ten points behind us. So we're in a really good, uh, really good run of well, we're in a really good position so far. We got Barcelona just after the winter break, so that was going to be a make or break game in whether we uh, go for the league or not this season again but they've been resurgent this year Barcelona after two very quiet years so they're our main challenges going forward but today is all about the Champions League first game against Kiev at home and this is going to be the lineup Ruffier in goal Sanchez even and Nunez in the middle just giving uh, Martinez a little bit of time off he's played a lot of football in recent weeks and months Odrizo on the right, Casado on the left, Sanche and Ander Herrera in the middle. Williams on the right hand side played very well since he's come back from his uh, injury. Munain in behind Benito Franco playing control fluid. I'll see you when we kick off. Here we go then. We are in our red and white. We are kicking off and they're in their blue and white strips. 4 2 3 1 for them up against our uh, 3 5 2, if you want to call it that. Ruffier now, 12 minutes gone. First highlight of the game, and uh, it goes to us, which is good, but they had the first shot on target, or first shot on goal, so it's going to be, uh, it's very even, I think, so far. Sanchez now picking up this ball, back to Iñaki Williams on this right side, Finals Riozola, who has uh, overlapped him into Monain, goes for the shot, and he shoots just wide. Unlucky for the Spaniard there. Casado whipping the ball in and uh, trying to find Inaki Williams, but it comes back out to Audrey Zola. He's going to drive in into Ikamonaeen. He goes for another long shot. He does like him, Ikamonaeen, but he needs to be a little bit more. Uh, his vision needs to be a bit better because he had time on his hands to uh, really pick a good pass there. But five minutes before half time, it looks like we're going to go in nil nil. Celtic are currently beating. Uh, currently beating. Celtic are currently drawing to Napoli. We've been very dominant in this uh, in this game. I'm just going to passionately say, keep going out there. You can win this one. Go out, boys, because we have been the most dominant of the uh, the two teams. Looking for something a little bit different in the second half. I'm just going to change up Munoyin's uh, role, actually. Let's just see if we can go for an attacking midfielder on attack rather than a playmaker. And uh, let's start that second half. Our mark just gone. I'm going to make some changes because some of the boys aren't playing particularly well. Martinez is going to come on and we're going to uh, put two up top for Franco and uh, and him. Going to put him as the complete forward on attack. Munoyin really not having the... Uh, Oji Zola not having the best game either. So we're going to put DeMarcos on that right-hand side and we're going to bring Jordi on for him. And we're going to put him as the advanced playmaker because that's what he likes. Three, uh, three changes made. Our mark gone. We're looking for these boys to come on and make their mark. Franco whipping the ball in, trying to find someone in the middle, but falls to Ander Herrera. Can he get the ball in? Sanche, Jordi's there, and he shoots just wide. Unfortunately for the youngster, he just pushed that a little bit too wide. We're going to go slightly more attacking and uh, mix passing. Run at the defence for the final 15 minutes. We need to push, push, push. And uh, here we go. Franco can't get that knock on, but falls to Jordi anyway. Carlos Martinez down this right-hand side into uh, Oscar DeMarcos. DeMarcos back into Jordi, down to Martinez, into Benito Franco. But it's a penalty. The, the referee has given a penalty. It's a push on Benito Franco. And Ander Herrera is going to step up. Can he put us 1-0 up and through to the next round of the Champions League? Yes, he can. Lovely finish. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Fourth goal of the season for Ander Herrera. Had a bit of a quiet game, actually, to be fair. He's not been the best today, and he just puts that to the keeper's right-hand side, and it's 1-0 Bilbao. Tizganikov picks up this ball on this uh, left-hand side and finds a switched ball. Lovren in the middle, out to Morozuk. 
into Gretzikin. And uh, he's holding on to the ball. Morishuk again. Down, back down to Gretzikin. Into Romanchuk. Romanchuk now taking on three or four men. And finds the ball out to Berda. Berda down the line. But Demarcos has got that all day long. And Herrera picks up that ball into Jordi. Over the top for the run of Benito Franco. One on one with the keeper. And he shoots just wide. Oh, it's been our problem so far this season. Not getting enough shots on target. Even though the, the, the finishing stats of the boys up front of 16-17 finishing and just not getting enough on target but the referee's blown for full time Bilbao 1 Kiev 0 dominant display from us in that one 15 shots to their 6 a little bit more possession and Herrera picking up a 7.1 7.1 being player of the match probably not everyone's not had the best of games uh, we got away with that one today they need to know that let's see how Celtic got on with Napoli beat Napoli 2-0 and uh, that should see us through us and them through actually to be fair both on 12 points no one can catch us we do qualify for the knockout round do we qualify as group winners or will that come down to yeah it comes down to the last match at Parkhead that'll be the next game will we go through as group winners right then here we go winner takes all in this game we are top only by goal difference at the minute and our head to head Again, Celtic is better because we beat them 4-0 in the first game. Before that, though, we have played a few games, two in the league, one in the cup. The cup, we beat Albacete 4-0, so it was 6-1 on aggregate. Uh, so and we got Las Palmas in the fifth round uh, of the Spanish Cup. We beat Granada 4-0 uh, at home. Benito Franco, Iñaki Williams with a brace, and Marcos Sanchez. And then we beat Almera 6-0 away from home. Benito Franco with a hat-trick. Williams, Jordi and Sanchez again on the score sheet. Um, but getting us a really good 6-0 win. The league looks like this. We're still a point ahead of Barca. Seven points ahead of Madrid. But now there's a little gap between Madrid and Malaga. And we're 10 point, 12 points ahead of Malaga and Atleti so far this season. So the league seems to be taking care of itself. But this Champions League now needs to get our focus. This is going to be the team that goes against uh, Celtic at Parkhead. And uh, Ruffier in goal. Martinez, Nunez and Sanchez at the back line. Monreal, Odrizola, Sanchez, Herrera, Williams, Monain and Franco. Full first team is out there. Let's see what they line up with. Uh, they have been playing a... A different different amount of, uh, of formations, but they're going with a 4-2-3-1. Uh, last time out, they played a 4-2-2-2. It uh, didn't go well for them. So, uh, yeah, they're playing a 4-2-3-1 today. We are going to say, assertively, carry on where you left off last match because last three games were in scintillating form. No goals scored against us. 14 scored, and uh, we were having some fun at the minute. Franco with a free kick into Sanche. Sanche makes it 1-0. First highlight of the game. 24 minutes gone. And Sanche puts us 1-0 up. Lovely little dink in from Benito Franco from a free kick. See it in 3D now. Just dinks that ball in. Unmarked is Sanche. Puts it into the back of the net. Celtic 0. Bilbao 1. Five minutes to go before half time and they're playing it around the back nice and comfortably Chester now on this right hand side into Asano who I think he's going to be playing more of an inside forward and Chester's going to go on the overlap as you can see there Asano now driving in into Ingvartsen but good um, good interception by Audrey Zola now Williams plays a lovely through ball to Benito Franco and Benito Franco isn't going to miss that 2-0 to Bilbao on the on the breakaway there. Lovely through ball by Iñaki Williams. Um, Audrey Zola intercepting that ball out to Morgan. And a lovely through ball from uh, Iñaki Williams to Benito Franco. Um, one on one with the keeper. He's not going to miss that. Celtic nil. Bilbao 2. Five minutes before half time. Asano just after we uh, scored again. But tries to get the cross in it. Falls down to Munaim. Benito Franco again. He's got... Half of the Celtic um, first first eleven against him, and M Herrera tries the shot, hits the bar. Franco was surrounded by literally all of Celtic's uh, team, and Herrera just hitting the post there, trying to get this uh, corner in. Herrera on the volley doesn't strike it cleanly, and that's out for a goal kick. Ruffier just picking up that ball, loose cross really from Morgan on that left hand side, and pretty simple by Ruffier Martinez into Sanche out to Monreal and. We've just got to keep the ball now for the final minute or so in this uh, in this half. Monoyne got loads of space to drive into. Goes for the shot and uh, yeah, he needs to work on that in training. But that will see us through to half-time. 
very dominant display from Bilbao, Sanche and Franco both on the score sheet. Uh, Kiev are drawing with Napoli in Kiev and uh, fantastic performance from the boys. I'm just going to calmly say don't get complacent. Things can turn around very, very quickly. We need to stay focused and say there's a lot more to come from them. Go out there into the second half and hopefully pick up uh, where we left off. Monin trying to find uh, Franco uh, up the top but Walshed just comes through and uh, pretty simple header for the centre back McGregor now down this right hand side into Bitton Bitton trying to vote to Asano and that is an amazing save by Ruffier lovely save pushes it nice strong hand away for a corner and the corner literally just whipped in but Armstrong's going to pick this ball up into Hayes Hayes now is getting closed down by Audrey Zola back to Armstrong back to Hayes good Football from Celtic. Morgan, a little bit free, and Ruffier sees that ball over the over the top of the bar. But what a save that was from uh, Ruffier on Asano, um, keeping us 2-0 up. Goes back to 2-1. It's a little bit more nervy, but great save by Ruffier. Monreal, great tackle on Chester down this left-hand side. Gets it into Jordi, who's come on for Ica Monae. Not had a great game today. Monae, lovely through ball from uh, Franco to Williams and uh, the goalkeeper there for Celtic, pushing it around the corner. Um, Franco with that corner out to Ander Herrera. He's going to go for another long shot, high and wide by the uh, captain of Bilbao. Five minutes to go. Christie's whipping that ball in and Sanchez is just going to head it back out to him. Uh, Nightcham picks up this ball and uh, finds Bitten in the middle finds a lovely through ball to Morgan and it's 2-1 now just before five minutes before the full time whistle Ruffier got a hand onto that one but couldn't get it out Christie picking up the ball from the clearance from uh, Sanchez Nicham picks the ball up finds Bitten and lovely through ball here from Bitten to Morgan uh, DeMarcos on his, on his, on his heels and uh, Ruffier got a hand to it but couldn't keep it out Celtic 1 Bill Bow 2 that will see us through to the next round of the Champions League. Very even game, actually. Came back into it the, uh, in the second half to Celtic, but did just enough in the first half to get a 2-1 win and top the group. Let's see how the rest of the groups have finished and uh, who has gone through and who has actually gone out. So Celtic, Milan have gone through. Barcelona won't even be in the Europa League this season. Wolfsburg pipped them to it. City and Dortmund, Juve and Madrid, Man United and Ajax, Liverpool, Bayern, us and Celtic, Chelsea and Monaco. So Inter just being pipped by them. And Arsenal and Red Bull Leipzig. So we can get Leipzig, Monaco, Bayern, Ajax, Dortmund, or Milan in the next round of the Champions League and uh, that will be in the next episode because next episode is going to be a huge one for league more than anything so the Champions League draw is on this Tuesday uh, just before the Madrid game I'm going to have to bring you the Madrid the two Madrid games really to be fair we'll do that next up but that's it for this episode if you have enjoyed it please do leave it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any more content remember tick that little bell icon just so you're notified every time a video goes live and until next time when we bring you Atleti at home Real Madrid away I'll see you soon